Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I am filming the I Heart Drugstore Makeup Tag, which I'm so excited to be filming this video because I started off with drugstore makeup back in high school, so this holds dear to my heart. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and like this video so that you can be notified when I upload and whatnot. So let's get started. So the first question says, what is your favorite drugstore makeup brand? Uh, mine would definitely have to be Revlon just because I love everything about them. Their nail polishes from foundations to basically everything. So Revlon. What are your favorite face, cheek, and lip products? So I have my face products, which are the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I have three because I vary from shades, whether it's from winter when I'm really pale, or summer when I'm more tan, or spring when I'm just glowing, basically. So I have these three right here. It's definitely my favorite foundation from the drugstore. And for blush, I like the L'Oreal True Match Blush in the color... Spiced Plum. And it's this really pretty pink. If you see, and there's a little bit of shimmer in it. I love this one. And then for lips, I like this Revlon Lip Gloss in the color 210. I really like it because I have really dry lips, even though I exfoliate regularly. I still tend to get chapped lips, so the entire Revlon collection is works miracles. Seriously, I can wear lip gloss or lipstick, and it's not patchy or uncomfortable on my lips since they are dry. It's very moisturizing as well. And so, question number two is, what are your favorite face... Oh, <laughs> I already did that one. So, number three, favorite least favorite product... Mine would definitely have to be the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, which is crazy because I really love the foundation, but the powder is just no bueno. Um, it's awful, honestly. Like, I feel like it does absolutely nothing for me. So it's this one. So that's definitely my least favorite. And question number four is, what is the best makeup bargain? And for me, it is... Definitely <laughs> the lipstick by Revlon. It is in the color 325 Toast of New York. And it really depends where you get it. Um, me personally, I like to get it at Ulta just because it's a lot cheaper than everywhere. So definitely that one. What is And number five is, what is your favorite underdog product? Something you love that often gets overlooked. I would definitely say the mascaras at the drugstore. It can easily be better and compatible with higher-end mascaras. For example, I got the Benefit mascara and I did not like it at all. I have to go return it. I also tried a Lancome, which I really liked, but honestly, I always, always go back to this one. It's the Maybelline New York, the Rocket Volume Express Waterproof, and it's blackest black. I really like this mascara. It's definitely one of my favorites. It is my favorite, <laughs> to be exact, and I know it seems like I really like Maybelline, but I promise I like Revlon more, and the... Question number six, a drugstore product that is overpriced. I would definitely have to say this concealer. <laughs> this concealer is by Sonia Kashuk. It is, you can buy it at Target. I'm sure you can buy it other places, but this is the only place I've seen it at. It was way too expensive with tax and everything. It was like $15, but I know it's, it's definitely more cheaper it's a cheaper concealer compared to higher end and stuff, but I don't know. I just think it's way too overly priced. <laughs> and another thing is the eyeshadow lately at the drugstore. I feel like you can spend a few more dollars on like a MAC eyeshadow for $15. You know what I mean? So I just got this one. It's just a simple eyeshadow quad that I got. It is, if you're wondering, just by Maybelline. 
I definitely think the eyeshadow is definitely <laughs> overly priced right now. And then show your best drugstore dupes. I do not actually have any. Sorry. <laughs> and number eight, drugstore products that isn't worth the hype. I know you all are going to get mad, but this e.l.f. Ooh, put a hair on it. This e.l.f. powder brush. And I know a lot of girls on YouTube would use it to, like, put their foundation on and whatnot. But for me, it just uh, did not work at all. I felt like I would have, like, blotches throughout the day of my foundation. It was just not, not, not cute at all. So definitely, this is definitely not worth the hype. And it was, like, $3. So it's not like I spent a lot of money on it. But, you know, I definitely expected more <laughs> of this brush. So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And please like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.